years old. I'm wild, 31 years old. Mr. Hitstick at 26 years old. And Spot Me Please at 27. So this isn't the youth group. See if some of that experience can pay off. Henry. Oop. Trucked no one, but still took it five yards. Wild. He's just one of those guys. Whenever the bigger the stage, the better he seems to play. He's always threatening me. Hey, I'm going to call it quits, RG. I think I'm done. And then <laughs> I, I see him at the next live event we go to. Real quick, too, Scott. Silent Soldier rocking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense and the Kansas City defense. Wild is going to be in the popular West Coast offensive playbook. Also in the Kansas City defense. Second and five. Henry. The defenses you're seeing the most popular are Kansas City, Baltimore, and then the Bengals as well, but not a lot of people run it. But those are the defenses that have that nickel 3-3-5. Three, three, yeah. Odd front. The, that's the normal nickel 3-3-5 three, three, defense that everyone loves. And the Patriots with that 3-3-5 three, three, odd. Second and two at the 34. Got to take what the defense gives you here. Of course, I'm Wildy, former baseball player at the professional yeah. level. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Tigers or the Yankees? Tigers. Yeah. The Tigers. He has an uncle that coached for LSU, running backs coach, I believe. He comes from a very uh, accolated sports family. Second and five after the jump. One thing that's cool about both of these guys' experience, too, is both, like you said, the Jags and Texans both had live events, and the staffs were just treating these guys like rock stars, yeah. and they were super excited about them. So both these guys excited to represent those teams. I mean, Wild has completely embraced those Jacksonville Jaguars. And he had Yannick send him a pretty cool oh, message yeah. on Twitter the other day. Really solid defensive end for that Saxonville defense. So second and eight at the 37 for Wild. Mariota. Good pocket. Really good pocket. Tries to get away oh. and can't. Jadavion Clowney with a sack. And good click on by Silent. He clicked on to the pass rusher and dove himself to make that huge a sack. Good stick skills right there by Silent. And sometimes your stick skills don't need to be super impressive. You don't need to get super swervy. It's just doing those little things that count sometimes, Coltrane. And that was a good example of it. Third and 13 here at the 32. Let's check in real quick on this opening drive for Spot Me Please. He's already down in the 13. McKinnon. Mr. Hitstick, he's got his hands full. This is his first ever live event going up against one of the best we have. And spot me, please, who's looked phenomenal. But when I went up there before the game, Mr. Hitstick was as cool as a cucumber. He didn't seem nervous. He was calm. He said, no need to be nervous at this point. Every game's going to be tough. I've prepared well. So he likes his chances. And by the way, I'm Wild did pick up that first down on that third and 13. Third and three here from the six for Spot Me. Trying to strike first. See with the what, Titans taking on the Colts. Let's see what Spot Me's got. These divisional matchups. Spot Me, the diehard Titans fan. Has wife Holly, son Reed back at home watching, cheering him on. His stick said his mom Kimberly's at home watching, wanted to shout out his lap partners, Assassin VA, VA Beach, and Bronco. Bunch to the right. He's going to audible. Goes offset on third and three. And McKinnon oh. got oh. caught up. And that's not going to be enough. Fourth and inches. You got a decision to make. Go. Just got caught up on his lineman, RG, and that cost him the inches he needed. Spot's going to go for this. Taylor Robertson, spot me, please, from Ballard, West Virginia. Going up against Mr. Hitstick, Dominic Johnson from Norfolk, Virginia. VA, stand up. Line formation sneaks it. And they will. 
give him the first down. First and goal from the three. Spot me just looks so good in this tournament so far, Coltrane. Every time I would turn to his screen or watch one of his games, he's been on marching down the field, putting together a scoring drive, and here he is first down on the three-yard line. He's going to flip the formation. Look at this scum little chess match going on right now. You flip, I shift. McKinnon again, will dot I'll the shift. eye, and he'll oh, get a touchdown. Stay. Spot me, please. And it's, Tennessee is on the board first. It's the keeping us cool. And one thing I like about Spot's offense, Coltrane, is he picked McKinnon because he just wanted the speed. He doesn't care about the moves because he keeps his ball carrier coaching adjustment on conservative. That's a setting in the game where if you put it on aggressive, you're more likely to break tackles, but you'll fumble. But if you put it on conservative, you won't break any tackles but you're a lot less likely to fumble. And that's what he does, because he's got so much confidence in his offense to move the ball without needing to fake anyone out or something like that. So the dudes from Mutt Wieners here, big time Tennessee Titan fans. What? Seven nothing over here on the Titans and Colts. Let's transition back over to Texans and Jags. Gotta give a shout out to those mutt wieners though, man. Those guys so much Putting passion. Work, and they're so hilarious. much passion. They're hilarious. They're positive. Really like those guys. And Wentz won't get the pass away as Jabril Peppers came in. I'm wild, drove down the field, but silent. Able to get the stop, and now he's on a drive of his own at the 28. Third and eleven in the waning seconds. Here to the first quarter. That out of position, Jabril Peppers, has been one of the more popular linebackers we've seen in salary caps. So if you're looking for a budget guy that the pros like to mix in. He's been on a majority of the rosters. He's yeah. made big plays. And I love that about this tournament. Sometimes, you know, we don't have time to lab or keep up with the meta. When you come to these events or you watch them, it's a quick refresher on what's hot on the streets, what items should I be going after, because these guys know what they're doing. Third and 11. Uh oh. Wheel route and Jones will get gobbled up by Amos, who gives a little Tiger Woods fist pump. Fourth and nine. And the thing with Silent Soldier will probably take his three right here. He said in Crystal City, Texas, there's not a lot going on. So they take their Madden very seriously. He's got his friends that he grew up with that help him lab. He doesn't lab with a lot of the top time players. And he's their pride and joy. They're all back there watching him, cheering him on. And he's put that, that city on his back more than a couple times in the MCS era. This will put him up first. Will be the first score of the game at the start of the second quarter. It's right down the middle. Madden Ultimate Team Stadium. What kind of concessions do you think they got at the, at the Mutt Stadium? It's got to have, the spluce has to be real. The normal burgers, pizza, tenders, fries, tots, some dipping dots. Little co is it, I don't know if it's Coke or Pepsi. Well, we're open. We're open to either of them right now. Let's go on the other side. Colts and Titans. Hit hungry. sticks on the move. Start of the second. Henry. Work his way to the 14. Has an opportunity to answer. Nice little drive here for Mr. Hitstick. And I've, I've enjoyed the, the limited time I've gotten to spend with Mr. Hitstick. He's a really cool dude, passionate about the game, super happy to be here, well-spoken. One of the best things about these trips is just getting to meet all these new faces and hanging out with some old friends, you know, yeah. Scott? I wanted to talk some Madden 18 with them. Instead, we talked about NCAA 14 for about 30 minutes together. <laughs> oh! So he's been around. Fourth and four. Now he's got a decision. Got to take the three. Yeah, I think you take your points here. Big to just get on the board against a player of Spot Me Please's caliber. You get the ball at half. Now Spot Me's got to make a run in this tournament. Yeah, I was shocked that Spot, Spot Me, for those that don't know, for him to make that Madden Ultimate League, he needs to get a top four, top two type finish here in the club championship. 
representing his Tennessee Titans. And that's not a spot we thought we would see no. him in. Spot me spot is usually secure, and he is good to go, but not the case this year with all the stiff competition. Back over here with the Texans and the Jags. You saw the throwaway there, but there was actually an offsides call. You're wild with the shades on. Look at him. So I'm wild and silent soldier. And I'm wild. You mentioned the shades. He's sort of locked in. Yeah, they love that man in Jacksonville. When he won there and that outdoor theater. Yeah, in the had. amphitheater. Yeah, the amphitheater. That was just awesome. Of course, he's got some buds hanging out with him. He's got some of his crew. Scheming. Big fourth and five. Tweez is in the building. It's a fourth down. Wild Lunch tweeted. to the right. He tweeted it's out big earlier play. today. He said it's a fight. He's got a fight right now. And Mariota. He's got time. Needs to find a man. B's wide open and he found oh, him. T.Y. Hilton works his way to the 27. And that wakes the crowd up a little bit. The Wild Boys are failing in it. It's a first. See the replay here. He's see B come open. Sets its feet under pressure and makes an absolute dart. Wild known for his defense, but he's looked good on offense when we saw him. If you remember him in Jacksonville, it was bombs away. He was putting up points and he was putting them up Deep quick. post. Yeah, Very deep. deep post. Like 40 yards a clip. He laughs with some good players. I mean, he gets games in with Skimbo, Kiv. Bam, you know, scheming, a.k.a. Bam. Tweed. Plays Duke. Duke a lot Duke. from the same state. Tweez, a guy that, you know, yep. made the Tweez final in the four building. of the Madden Classic. Most likely going to be in the Ultimate League. Couldn't get a block there. Trailing by a field goal. All right, and we also have Tweez in the building. He's down there. Hanging out with Adrian Lawrence. The young Grizzly. Take it away, Adrian. Yes, I'm here with Tweez, who is supporting Wild. And can you tell us, how do you know him? Um, we live in the same city, and like, I met him at a um, Madden tournament in New Orleans, and we just started messing with each other after that. Because we was both tough. And I know Wild is a very strong competitor. What do you think is the strongest part of his game? His defense. He go lock up. Like, I don't think nobody goes scoring him, like, not that often. And I know you guys collab together. And so can you tell me, how is the competition role between the two of you? Um, so he be locking me up. We be going back and forth, you know, practicing. But, like, we always go at it. Like, we go at it a lot. I be him, he be me. And there's a pretty good chance you're going to be going to the Ultimate League. What would it mean to be able to have Wild there, too? It's going to mean a lot, so, like, People don't try to double team me, you know, scheme against me. I'm going to have somebody to help me too, but, you know, it's going to mean a lot to me if he make it. I wish I wish my dude Bam would have made it too in stick work, so. But while I make it, it's going to mean a lot for real. Well, I wish him and you the best. Thanks, Tweez. All right, Tweez. Let's go. He's good to see me. Mentioned out some other goons there. Bam, a.k.a. scheming. Got stick work. That's a crew right there. That's hey, that's not a that's not a bad four. Oh, that's that's with wild bam I'm a, I'm stick. A... Oh, and silent soldier. Three for three now. We got a three-three game after the field goal by Wild. And look at this. This is in triple coverage. Night train is not able to get an animation going. Talent Soldier's not complaining, though. 90 seconds to go in the half. Could double dip the chip here. Could get the score before the half and get the ball to start the third quarter. Yeah, and if you're silent, you want to get points because that man, Wild, like Tweez just told you, he's known for his defense. I mean, that famous saying, it's a box. <laughs> that came from him because he's put many of good Madden players in that box. Silent Soldier trying to avoid it. Second and eight. On ESPN News tonight at 10 p.m. Last time we were on the Deuce, Wild was there out in L.A. That was Madden 16. That one's stiff. 
Won his MCS championship. He was on Sports Center that night. They had Coach yeah. doing a segment on the MCS. Exciting to see that type of stuff happening again. Dave was talking earlier about Stiff and that belt. We were eating around the corner from the venue after it was over, and ooh, here comes by Stiff with the belt on the street corner, him and lights. Yeah, yeah, and he was loving it. He was taking pictures. And said, hey, where'd you get that? I'm the Madden champ, baby. <laughs> Second and nine, 46 seconds to go. Soldier with two timeouts, Wild with one. This is just one of those games. Both of these guys are elite level players. No one wants to bend. Just, just tough, grimy Madden right here. Wentz. Oh, and it's picked it's a off. Box. It's a box. He's on the horse. <laughs> and Wild says, You crazy. He had a guy wide open. B was coming free. He had both, actually, both guys on the inside open and picked the wrong one. <laughs> and Wild lurked him. Oh, what a dot under pressure. Way to keep you cool in the pocket. Wild, and look at him. He's starting to get in the zone. Getting some rhythm. He's the kind of player that, want, I mean, once the swag starts building, he's really a tough guy exactly, to beat. Exactly, exactly. Once he starts going, cold train, he starts going. I mean, he might have only woke up 15 minutes ago. But he's wide awake now. So past the line. He's past the line. Past the he's line of scrimmage. Back. Good eyes, oh, RG. Oh, he's not happy about he that He cannot one. believe that. And that's that bomb we saw him going to in yeah. Jacksonville. It was bombs away in that Jacksonville. Deep else. He was making it rain with the quarterback. Loves to flip that formation and throw that post route. And that's rough. Right before half to get a touchdown, call back like that. But, hey, execution is more than half the battle. And T.Y. We'll draw it in. Only 20 seconds left here, guys. What's going on in the other game? Oh, guys, spot me, please. Looking strong. Rico, you mentioned that he was diversifying his playbook. A lot of running happening in this game. Yeah, he wanted to make sure he didn't have the turnovers, so he was trying to keep it to the ground. He was incredibly effective all game long. Yeah, a couple of tries here down by the goal line to get this thing in, but finally just goes to the old read option. Why not? Touchdown, 14-3. He is up with 22 seconds left in the first half. Back to you guys. That's the Sean Watson. I can mess with that. I like that little show of respect right there. Hits the kind of gives the point. Good play spot. Spot points are back at him. Hey, I know. Fourth and 15 over here. He's got a punt. It's a punt. I don't, that doesn't sound as good on a t-shirt. I got to stop with the Issa, because once you get going with it, it's a trap. I'm telling you, Coltrane. <laughs> Next time, you got to take a lap, maybe 10 push-ups, something. And that goes out of bounds. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> no laps, no push-ups, please. <laughs> Do need to get back in the gym, though. We got our bas EA basketball tournament coming up. We got to get ready. A well, problem in the post, Cole Train. It's really? Just, yeah, the stamina is a problem, though. <laughs> I'm good. I'm like El Galsis. I'm good for the first six minutes, and then it's over. First and ten from the 18. Does have two timeouts, and he'll just hand it off. That's a stingy game right there. 3-3. Three, three. Let's go to second half. Some defensive battle here between the, the Texans. Oh, I'm holding down the A button all day. Sorry, I'm Larry. I'm not having it. Sorry, Larry. Right through it. I love when Charles and James, uh, they get mad at you. <laughs> They're like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, ah, sorry about that. I mean, Charles, sorry, and Brandon, well, Charles and Brandon, when you skip the halftime yeah, they get in, mad. in the game, they say, hey, what are you doing skipping Larry? <laughs> oh, that's big. I put it out at the 40. Scum kick no more. You're pretty proud of that, aren't you? So uh, I hated the scum <laughs> kick. I felt victim of it online one time. Like, Middle linebackers at tight end? Gone. <laughs> Do it at your own risk. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Again! Again Richardson. in traffic! Who is wow, that? Paul Richardson from the Seattle Seahawks. 
has high pointed it twice. Paul Richardson, the glitch? Let me find out. Look at this. You oh. know about his speed, but what about those hands? Night train lane over there. He's thrown it twice. Where Hajmi believed and no, no, he's labbed that. Now that's not gonna work. No, no. I... Hey, it twice is twice. nice. Third, third time. time. Ooh. Not the charm that time. He's lucky it didn't get picked off. Silent Soldier needs to collect himself. I love that guy. Well, Silent Soldier. Well, he's I'm wild. Two good guys. Silent Soldier is just such a class act. And Hill oh! gets it off the oh! turf. And Tyreek Hill. Wild's not happy about that one. A low throw, not able to match the tackle. Hill doing what he does, gets on his horse. Sam Wild's brother in the crowd. Not feeling it. Can't believe it. Picked it up off the turf. Gotta love that when the family members show sure. up. They start showing some emotion in the crowd. They bring some lights to the place. I'm with it. Brother Wild, I feel you. Yeah, Joshua in the is. crowd, his brother. There he is. He's ready. He knows Wild's it. ready to step up. Got the fam in the crowd, Wild. It's time. How are you going to respond? It took us to the second half to get our first touchdown in this one. And remember, he had the touchdown, the penalty on the deep touchdown. That's right. And if you're silent soldier, you got to be ready for that. Here's the dot, and then no one can tackle him. Look at the defender just what is going out. on? Oh, my gosh. It's a bug. It's a bug. Night Train Lane. The DOT followed by the REX. That's not going to help you at work. That's, that's going to be rough at work. Guys, what's going on on that side? Well, right before the half, guys, Mr. Hitstick with a huge run of his own to counter what Spotney's been doing all first half. Yeah, he had to get this score, and he needed it bad. But he's following it right back up, broke another one, and threatening the score. That's right, on the 11-yard line right now, looking to get in the end zone. We will keep you posted, 17-10. Wow, some good games here. Guys have pretty much fought for the last two days. We've had very few, I mean, one or two games that got out of hand. That's about it. No, nah, everything's been stench mode, Scott. Everyone's neck and neck, hell game after hell game. Want to represent wild. their team. 32 teams went through the NFC yesterday. We're in the AFC today here in Orlando. ESPN Wild World of Sports. It's going to be a great day, another great day of Madden football. Yes. See who's coming with us to Minnesota. And Mariota will pick up the first down. Got to get down. If Rico and them like the set, used to like to say, Scott's going to Minnesota. <laughs> I'm going to Minnesota. Who's coming with me? I keep saying that. I I've made every live final. I don't know what the big deal is. <laughs> it's easy. A little bit harder when you got the sticks in your hands. Good read. Good read, Wild. Good spin. Down to the 23. What's going on? It's a score fest. That's right. We mentioned this long run that Rico alluded to. There he is, Mike Vick, breaking free, setting up Mr. Hitstick for a relatively easy touchdown. Yep. Vick makes things a lot easier in Madden, and just like tying his game up against Spotty. Really good game over here, guys. 17 all, 237 left in the third. Wow. So Mr. Hitstick battling back over there between the Colts and the Titans. Both the games are just so good, Coltrane. Let's be honest, the AFC South is tough anyway. Yeah, loaded. I mean, three of these four guys were in the final 32 of the MCS last year. Yeah. Spot me, please, I believe finished third. Spot me, wild, silent soldier, you see him right there. And Mr. Hitstick, he's got something to say over that game. 10 to 3. Wild trying to tie it up. Second and goal from the five. Stretch play. Spot me, please. We got him here listed as uh, making $70,000 last year off of that John Madden football. Silent Soldier, about $13,000. And I'm wild, close to $20,000. So. 
These guys know what it's like to make a little bit of coin playing that John Madden football. First the champ was well in his six figures. Skimbo won earlier today. And Mariota. Oh. What defense. do you do here, RG? I mean, it's early. It's 149 yeah. left in the third. You're at the six. He's going to take the points. Yeah, you take the three right now. See, you've been playing good defense if you're on wild. Silent Soldier has gotten fortunate on several of his yeah, big plays. Yeah, high point and a low point. You, yeah, you, you got to assume that that stuff's not going to continue to happen. You're a defensive player. Take your points. But Silent Soldier's no push up. I don't like this by Wild, though. Your defense is so good. Stop giving him the ball on the 40. Keeps messing up that kick. I wonder if it's the wind. Mud Stadium is open at the top. See the sunshine shining in. Here in Orlando. Get away. There's the box. Brother Wild, he's feeling it. Now, I would buy a shirt that said Brother Wild. I would. Put that out there. Yeah, I'll make you one. Yeah. Second and 17 at the 33. Wow, the 335 aggressive. Look at that. No, but no safety help. Went standing Scream. tall. Gets away. Oh, good tackle. And Bosa triples him up. So we got 10 to 6 here. And over on the other side. Wow, guys, look what we got here. 17 7 on your side. And he's almost we are into the end zone. Thank you, Scott. Right here, about to get into the end zone. Spot me, please. Doing his best to not lay down here in the second half after looking pretty dominant throughout that first half, Rico. Yeah, he, he was spotted a 14-point lead, but now he needs to regain that. That's not going to do it right there. He is short, fourth and goal from the one, counting down towards the end of the third quarter. He can let it go all the way down to the end of the third quarter as he waits to pick his play here. He might just take that time, give himself a little bit more time for that decision, Rico. This is a decision you don't want to have to make if you're him. Think long, think wrong sometimes. He may just try to see if he can catch him off balance there you go. and go for it. And just like you called it, Rico, he is into the end zone. Spot me has retaken the lead. Pending an extra point will be up 24-17. For Mr. Hitstick, about to go into this fourth quarter, his first live event ever. Time to put up or shut up right here. Yeah, this is what we, we call the guap drive. Even though it's not at the end of the fourth quarter, you cannot allow Spot Me to get a stop and potentially go up two scores. Right now, you need to hold serve, get in that end zone, whether it's by Vic or running the ball. Do not turn the ball over, and you have to get points. Yeah, the most clutch drive of the game is not always the last drive of the game. Sometimes you got to have some momentum shifted around right here. Let's send this on back. Scott, RG. Take it away. We got Texans and Jaguars going down. Yeah, and I'm Wilds already got the ball back. And yeah, that's why you take that field goal, Scott. Told you, you're a defensive player trusting your defense. They've now put you in a situation where you could take the lead with a touchdown. Two good games here in the AFC South. Room, he's and got Derek room. Henry gets a block. And now he's at the 30. Needs a touchdown, though. Field goal won't do it. Mutt has an auction house where you can buy your players. Do you think Derrick Henry's price after this on the rise. <laughs> is on the rise? I mean, this Derrick Henry is putting in work. He's fairly new, too. It's part of the NFL Playoff Edition, 90 overall. And, of course, he's a part of the Tennessee Titans. Former Alabama Crimson Tide. Why? Oh, oh, should have been picked. And Madden can go both ways, Coltrane. Silent has gotten away with some questionable reads, and right here, Wild catches a break as well. Silent clicks on, gets the drop. That was Ronnie Lott who dropped it. Oh, and man. Henry will pick up the first down on the ground. 
Now inside the red zone. That's tough, man. Sometimes Madden's good to you, sometimes it's bad to you, as Gibbs and Frost said. But more often than not, it evens itself out. You gotta, that's why you got to keep on playing. You got to fight through that stuff, Coltrane. Final play of the quarter, and Henry. Maybe you should have waited. Throw your fours up here in Orlando. Jags and Texans are headed to the fourth. Nice shades by Wild. Never had a nice pair of shades like that. You're the gas station shades kind of guy? <laughs> yeah, my actual reading glasses are kind of dope. They'll transition. Yeah, there you go. I've seen you. I've seen They'll you in those. They'll transition to the shades. Back here in Colts and Titans country. The problem is their style rating out of the 99 is like a 15. Lenses on fleek, frames trash. <laughs> exactly. Second and five. Coming up on three and a half minutes left in this game. Mr. Hitstick is trying to tie it up. Still Dominic, Dominic Johnson out of Norfolk, VA. We're going to really make a name for himself against last year's defended man and classic champion. And Vic gets loose. He oh, decides to throw it. What and Westbrook lead. down to the four-yard line. The Vikings rolls out, gets away from the pressure, throws a laser to the crossing route. This is too wild. I need double box. Double box time. Do your Hanson impression, Scott. We need Scott. it. We go, need go. it. We need it. We got two good games here. Getting close. And good hits hit. it. Can't get there. Gonna lose two. Nice job by Spot Me. So we got 24 to 17 on this side. And I'm wild. And Silent Soldier on the other side. 10 to 6 in that one. Double box. 418 on the left, 235 on the right side, and Henry spins so close. Mr. Hitstick is on the one. Oh, right there. So third and goal at the one. This is a huge play for Mr. Hitstick. Two down territory. Got to be two down. Let's go full. Let's go. Got to go. You got to go twice. And he it's gets good. in. Sneak it with Michael Vick and pinning the extra point. We might be tied with 214 to go. Wow, how about Mr. Hitstick going up against Spot Me, please, the grizzled vet in a health game. That's baptism wow. by fire right there, Coltrane. And he's up for it. So now Spot Me, please, will have an opportunity to get on a bread drive. Renfro. So 24-24 there. Let's pop over to the other side. A handoff to Jones on first and five, and Silent Soldier with a four-point lead. He could go down here and score a touchdown and maybe put this in the fridge. Yeah, going back to his gun bunch. I liked him in that single back wide trips. We saw Joel have a lot of success with that at the Madden Challenge. It's a good formation, a lot of good stretching, a good dive, mixing some passing plays, but... Of course, with all the changes to the running game, you don't have some the crazy jukes. That's a good point. That sort of changed the meta for a lot of players, including Silent Soldier. Good read. Good find in the flats. That's Tyreek Hill, who pirouettes to the 44. And Wild really needs to get stingy right now. He needs to pull out that box defense. Because a soldier can go down on that man and get a touchdown. It's going to be two possessions. That's not where Wild wants to be. Especially with the offense only getting him six points so far. Double box again. Two minute warning on the right side. I like this. I like the double box, Scott. I got to see them both. I got FOMO. Pushed him back to the 45 on the left side, the second 11. The key drive is over here on the right, RG. Second and six. Spot me on the edge of field goal range. Trying to go down and win this thing. 24-24. Spot me. Gets loose with Deshaun and slides down at the 32. So it's a 49-yarder from there. And Silent Soldier on the left side got a first down. 
Let's kind of lock in over here with the Colts and the Titans. Under 115 to go in this one. Third and five. Biggest play of the game. Throw off the seam. McKinnon. And a smart play not to score. He could have scored a touchdown there. But decides to work to the one. And so he should be able to maybe kick a clutch field goal here at the end. Hitstick's got the two timeouts. He'll be able to get this ball back. I think if you spot, you just want to get in the end zone. Good sneak defense. It's nothing there. Actually lost half a yard, so they're going to mark it at the two-yard line. Second and goal from there. Hitstick's going to so be So you're able questioning that. You're questioning the... Well, he's going to be able to get the ball back with about 32 seconds, which is enough time to get in field goal range. It's difficult. It's questionable. It's not a terrible call. You can, you can make it work either way. Of course, neither of them have really been able to stop the other. And McKinnon won't get in there. And here comes the final timeout for Mr. Hitstick. Third and goal at the three. Under a minute to go. And Taylor Robinson, a.k.a. Spot Me Please. You know his wife Holly, baby boy Reed are on the edge of their seat back home watching this. Oh, look at this. This could be a run dot. Run dot! Run and Deshaun dot. Watson into the end zone for Spot Me. Oh, that QB sneak call to Watson. So clutch. And the big thing is now Mr. Hitstick with no timeouts, only with 55 seconds, Coltrane, to put an immaculate drive together to go down and get a touchdown against the veteran, stingy, motivated. Spot me, please. You haven't missed anything in the silent Soldier wild game either. Soldier still with the ball. So we'll get you over there in a moment. But let's take a look at that replay as oh. Deshaun Takes run off. Dot. Run dot, Scott. We call that a run dot. So 55 seconds in this one. On the other side, between the Texans and the Jags, 121 to go. Pitch to the outside. Jones gets a block, but can't get away. And Wilds got to hold him to a field goal here to have any sort of chance. Wilds in a bad spot right now. He's out now. of timeouts. He's out of timeouts. I mean... Even holding him to the field goal, you'd get the ball back with about Brother Wild not, not looking too happy, and I feel him. It's a tough predicament right now for Wild. Might get the ball back with about 20 or so seconds. First down within the game. He's going to be looking for him. You need to stop here, and then you got to look for that field goal block, Scott. So 49 seconds, third and 13, ball at the 23. First down ends the game. Ricky Cisnettos, big play for him. Crystal City, Texas, stand up. Pitches it. And a good stop there. Rinfro in on the tackle. And so that'll take it all the way down. There's going to be about 15 seconds or so. By the time he snaps it, by the way, that AFC hat's on fire. That's a hot hat, huh? Goes with the Texans uniform perfectly. Got to match it up, man. Man, that's style. I don't got style like that. I'm not going to take it. So 15 seconds remain in this one. Takes the timeout. And he will uh -oh. kick the field goal. watch the block. He didn't get it perfect. It's a scary. If you're wild, you have to go for this block right here, Coltrane. Oh, he knows it. He knows he didn't get it perfect. This is scary if you're a Madden player. He's a man of faith. It's a bad feeling. And he's saying a little prayer to the Madden. Yeah, he is a man of faith. He good. believes, and it. it's up, and it's good. 11 seconds to go, and Silent Soldier leads by a touchdown. And now I'm wild. 
Neither guys with timeouts. He has a chance Rimfro. to return it. He has a chance to get Icky. Gets away yeah. from Paul Kraus. Oh. And he has one play with five seconds to go. Probably the final play of the game between Silent and Wild. Man. And don't wow. worry, we'll bring you up to speed with what's going on with the Colts and the Titans. But we got one play left for I'm Wild. <laughs> and it's going to be a sack, and that's where the road will end. Texans will move on in the loo of Silent Soldier. What a game, RG. Oh, good games all around. And I'm wild. He had a solid season, Conti continues to be one of the best players on the circuit. But Silent Soldier has silently become one of the more consistent players on the circuit. And he's on a mission to make that ultimate league. He's got Crystal City, Texas busting right, buzzing right now. So 13 to 6. And you can see over here on the right side, it's Colts and Titans. And these guys are looking to lock in 31 to 24 on that side. Dave and Rico, what the? <laughs> I know those guys have been locked in over there. They're, they're going to tell you what all happened at the end of that one. Wow, 31 to 24. What the heck happened, guys? All kinds of fun stuff <laughs> happened over here, Scott and RG2. Good games again. AFC South living up to the high.